What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. See, he's just going to break bad. Young, inexperienced, TikTok trucker almost last, almost lost his CDL. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yo, just a couple of hours ago, I just had one of the most scariest moments in my trucking career. But there's a learning lesson in this. So I had a load going from Pennsylvania to New Hampshire. It's about, I forgot the cities, um, but it's about a, like a 430, 450 miles from Pennsylvania to New Hampshire, the two cities. Basically what I've been using for my GPS is my Apple Maps, right? And for anybody in the industry that's been in the industry longer than six months or a year, they're probably going to call me an idiot, but that's okay. The pros to using your maps is that it might give you a faster route to your destination. However, your map doesn't account for trucking routes. It's going to give you a route based on a car. So at any moment, there's a risk that it might take you down a road that, or, or a highway that has low bridges, things of that nature that are trucks around a lot. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I get off on the interstate and it takes me down like a secondary highway, which is like, it was like 50 north or 50 south or some shit like that. I get down the highway and the bridge sign to my right says 13-1. Now, for anybody that knows, the clearing height for a truck and a trailer is 13 foot 6 inches. So I'm like, damn, fuck. My heart is beating. I start sweating. I'm like, dang, 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 dang. okay, what am I going to do? Now, when I get up to the bridge, I took geometry in high school. The bridge is curved instead of straight so i'm like all right i took geometry i know i have better chances of clearing this bridge or this underpass if i go into the middle of the lane and go into the middle of the bridge where it's the highest clearance i get past that 13 one one mile goes by 12 9 sign now i'm sweating even harder my heart's beating fast i go under it slowly I go under the middle again, I clear it. The last bridge, it was 12-1. 12-1 was a sign. I was like, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. I went under it slow, didn't hear nothing, didn't feel nothing. I cleared it. Then, two miles up the road, there was a tunnel. But I knew that you know, God didn't save me through three bridges. You know, I'm, I'm I'm one of God's favorites. He got me through this situation for a reason because I have a higher purpose in my life to not lose my CDL. But something tells me that these were signs, signs to get off this road. So luckily, I got off on a road that three miles ahead, I got back on, I think it was like 96, safe. Moral of the story is to get a trucking GPS. Drivers, let me know what you think in the comments below. Man, oh man, new drivers, rookie drivers, Apple Maps, Google Maps, anything that's on anything that's not a truck GPS is going to get you in trouble. It's going to get you in trouble, man. It's going to get you in trouble. Look, I'm not here to to tell you what you need to do or how to do. I'm just kind of glad that you was lucky enough to get up under those bridges now half the time that won't be the case either you're going to tear up the top part of the truck or you're going to get stuck up under the bridge either way you shouldn't have went through there once you got to that first bridge maybe call 911 and explain to them that the in the inaccurate GPS took you down a residential street, a street that you're not even supposed to be on. Now, of course, 5 0 is going to come and back you out. And of course, you're going to get that ticket. You're going to have to eat that ticket. But luckily for you, you was able to get from up under all three bridges i'm sure the first bridge pretty much you know pretty much was was a butt uh was a butt clincher i get it 
But guys, listen, when you come into the industry, the first thing you're going to need to do is to invest in a truck specific GPS, i.e. a Garmin diesel or a Rand McNally T T D T M D. One of one or one of those two GPS will help you get through some of the get through some of the areas you need to get through. Not to say that those GPSs are perfect, not by all means, and you only use it as a tool, but still, when you're on a residential area or on a street or anything like that, the truck GPS will help you out more than your Apple Maps. Let's jump to some of these comments. This first commenter says, Yes, hun, get a trucker's GPS until you learn your states. This commenter says, stay safe, driver. This commenter says, get a trucker's GPS before you get in trouble. Those trucking route tickets will get expensive. Overdrive, Garmin, or Ram McNally. This commenter says, never even had a GPS years ago. Just look at the Atlas. Uh, yeah, years ago, you know, the Atlas will always work. It is the try and true map of the world. But with different places uh, that's building new roads, uh, some roads are are being remodeled, remade, reshaped. You know, a GPS with the update can update you on that in real time. Laugh out loud. I used, laugh out loud. I used two Google Maps on iPad to see traffic jams and better routes. The other one is Rand McNally where I compare both routes to get there faster, which that's, that's, that's a good way. You use them as a tool. This commenter says, professional steering wheel holder. <laughs> if that's the case, bro, we're all professional steering wheel holders. We holding the steering wheel. I never, ever since I've been in the trucking, understood that statement. I understand that you guys use that for like rookie drivers, inexperienced drivers, and so forth. But still, saying that they are steering wheel holders, that's what they are. You are one too. This, this commenter says, no Apple Maps, use Google Maps. Don't use neither one. <laughs> Don't, don't use neither one, sir. I mean, you can use Google Maps for to find the places where you need to go from satellite view, but don't use it as the truck GPS. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my Security, me, I'm feeling now. Don't start with all that crazy shit.